Join Super Bros for a flavor-packed adventure with their spicy chicken bacon ranch sub. Watch as they create homemade sub buns infused with aromatic herbs, crispy bacon dredged in flour, and perfectly grilled chicken marinated in a tantalizing dry rub. Topped with zesty onions, jalapenos, cucumbers, yellow peppers, Roma tomatoes, leafy lettuce, and a tangy ranch dressing. This sub is bursting with vibrant flavors and don't miss their secret recipe for crispy sweet potato fries on the side. Subscribe now for more exciting recipes every Tuesday and Thursday. Let's get cooking right here at the Super Bros Kitchen. You know the yeast here, dry active yeast, followed by one tablespoon of sugar. followed by one tablespoon of dried oregano. And we have uh, fresh basil, so I have two tablespoons of fresh basil. Uh, if you have, for you guys using dry at home, you'll use one tablespoon, half a tablespoon of thyme in here. We're gonna dump right into our container. Followed by uh, one tablespoon of garlic powder. and one tablespoon of onion powder. Add in one teaspoon of salt. I'm using Himalayan sea salt. And then we're gonna mix it just to get, to get everything incorporated. I have a quarter cup of mozzarella here, guys, and a quarter cup of Parmesan grounded up nice and fine. We're gonna add that into our mixture and we're gonna blend that on in. We have not added any wet ingredients yet. All right, I have uh, one cup of hot water here, heated up to 96 degrees Fahrenheit, and one tablespoon of di diostic malt powder, and I'm just gonna mix into this water so it's uh, in here nicely incorporated. I'm gonna turn this on number one, and then I'm gonna slowly start incorporating the wet. Here we are, our, ball, our dough ball has been formed. It's almost perfect here. Yep, we're just gonna take her on out here, plop her onto the surface here and give her a little kneading. Right, our ball is out of the mixer, guys, onto our work surface, and we're just gonna just knead it out a little bit here before we throw it in our bowl overnight. Oh yeah, that looks very good. Okay. Apparently, Chef Rock wanted to feed me a piece. <laughs> it, came, it came flying right over. You got a little bit. Of, you can have it right back. You got a little extra. <laughs> there we go. Look at all the herbs in that dough. It looks so good. I could smell it from here, and it hasn't even cooked yet. Yeah, it's going to be delicious, guys. This is what we're looking for. Need it a bit, guys. When you got it where you want it, just roll it into a nice bowl like this, firm it up, pull it, pull it towards you, back into its mixing bowl here. So we have olive oil here, guys. We're just gonna rub the inside of our bowl here. This is to keep it from sticking. And then we're gonna place our ball here and back in the into the bowl. Put some Saran wrap over the top, put it in the fridge and rest it overnight. Now you can just set it in for resting for one hour and that would be fine, but we're gonna do it overnight. And we'll see you back here tomorrow, guys. Thank you. Um, we gotta cut this dough into three equal pieces. And to do that, um, at least the simplest way I could figure is to cut it into four pieces. Right down the center. And then again, down the, the center, like the middle, I guess. And then we'll take one of these pieces away. Add it evenly. We'll cut it into three pieces, this dough. So maybe like a semi-log. <laughs> Yeah, 
So that should do. That should be pretty equal, guys. You can use the scale additionally uh, to get it exact. All right, so we're just rolling them back into balls again. So they're all one piece. Uh, we're gonna fold the corners to the center like we've done in previous recipes with our buttons. We wanna be about 80% of your tray. So we're folding the corners to the center, guys, like this. Just keep folding. Now you only have to really go around once, but I go around twice. There we go. And then we're just basically gonna roll it into a log, just like before. We're gonna be proofing this, guys, for the next uh, half an hour to an hour. It's gonna double in size and then it's ready for the oven. And uh, before we redo that, we're gonna add a few little slits. This adds like a little bit of a release to our bread and also like a decorative kind of thing. So it looks better. Scoring the top. And you'll see it'll start spreading apart, but it creates a really lovely design after on top of the bread. Um, all right, so we're gonna let her proof. So here we have our proofed bread that's been sitting out on the counter here with the cover on it for the last 30 minutes. And as you can see, it's over doubled in size. We're gonna take it down to the oven. Uh, we preheated it to 400 degrees. And then as soon, before we put it in the oven, we're gonna turn it down to 350 and cook it off. And it takes about 25 minutes. So we'll see you back here shortly. Welcome back friends. So now we're going to make our sauce for our uh, chicken sub uh, tonight. Uh, in order to do that, uh, we had to chop up about two tablespoons of green onions. As you can see, I've already done that. They're in the bowl here. I uh, also have one tablespoon of sour cream and we have a quarter cup of mayo, a quarter cup of ranch. And then about a quarter cup of hot sauce. Now, if you're using uh, hotter than Frank's Hot, uh, you'll just adjust it to your liking. So we're gonna do just less than a quarter cup, just under a quarter cup, because like I said, you can always add more, you can't take. And just a pinch of pepper, guys. Here we have a can of chipotle peppers. Uh, basically, we're gonna use a half a tablespoon here of chipotle peppers in order to incorporate those we're using a neutral bullet in order to turn it into a sauce because they are whole peppers and this is just to give a smokiness and a little bit more kick to our sauce we didn't think the uh, frank's hot did enough justice to it all right and then we're just going to pour our sauce back into the bowl guys as you can see, the way we're going to cut the onion is along the vein here, see? So we're going to get nice long chips, but we're going to cut it nice and thin. Thinner the better, guys. All right, guys, we have uh, this lemon juice here. It's from Concentrate. We're going to just pour this over our onions. About two tablespoons worth. Then we're going to massage it in and let it uh, do its thing for the next 30 minutes. Jalapeno here. We're going to be pickling this. You can keep the seeds in like I'm going to do. We're going to have a spicy chicken grilled sub today. So about a quarter cup of vinegar, guys. Then we're going to add in our jalapenos. Remember, don't rub your eyes, don't touch your face after handling any hot peppers and let them do their magic for the next 30 minutes. Welcome back, friends. So we have a fresh head of lettuce out of our garden now that it's in season. It's still got the roots attached and we're going to just uh, clean it up here. OK, we have our lettuce here and what we want to do now is just clean up these stalks here and just keep the lettuce themselves. So what I do is I just rip, rip them off and just try to keep the leaves yellow pepper here. It's going to decor it just like this. 
There we go. Seeds are all out. I'm gonna cut down the middle and we're gonna cut them long ways. Just like that. And then we're gonna line them up. And just give them a, actually we'll cut them into threes. Like this, that'll be good for our, for our mouse. So we we're gonna cut them down to like this. And that's where we're at. Now we're gonna move on to our cucumber. So this is our ice bath here of water. Just gonna drop our cucumbers in. And just a tad of lemon juice. Just a drop, that's all you need. Just the citrus will help it. Color, keep the color in it. All right, set these aside with the onions and the jalapenos, and then we're gonna dice up this tomato. And we're going for thin as well, we don't want it overpowering, nothing overpowering on our sub. All right, and now we're gonna make some sweet potato fries. Uh, this is gonna accompany our sub sandwich. So, what I do is to make a uniformed you can use all this stuff, but to make it nice for you guys on camera, you chop the ends off of your yams. So these we want to do at about a quarter inch strips. And then uh, simply do the same with the other one, quarter inch. So now that we evened off these edges, we're gonna get, uh, I'm still gonna take off a little more. Throw that into our discard pile. And then we're going to get nice chips here, just like this. You want to keep them roughly the same size. And there we go. So this will be for our batch of sweet potato fries. They're nice and uniformed, beautifully cut. And then we just basically take it over to a, a bath of water in here, see? And it has a, a mix of water, a quarter cup of vinegar, and um, about three tablespoons of honey in here to it elevate the sweetness of the of the potatoes. I've also, I'm gonna add in two cups of ice right now to really chill them. And I'm gonna set it in the fridge for an hour. There's our beautiful buns that came out of the oven. They're very rustic. So we're just gonna dredge all this in the flour guys. Mix it up in here, get it well covered. Get them all nicely covered, like that. Scrape off the bottoms, separate them. All right, that should do. So now we're basically gonna spread this out on our, on our cookie sheet. One more piece. We're using an applewood smoky bacon here, guys. Set this in my oven, it's set to 425 now, and then I'll, I'll turn my oven down to 375 and cook it for the next 20 minutes, and it should be nice and crispy. And here we go in, guys, with our sweet potato fries that we cut up. We have pat dried, make sure you remove all the moisture as much as you can from them before you go into the oil because water and oil don't mix. And then we'll just lay them in our basket. And we're going in at 375, guys. Drop them in and let them cook up. There we go, our beautiful yam fries. Gorgeously crispy. Healthier for you. Delicious. Beautiful bright colors. And they go good with our, our sauce for our sandwich. So now we're gonna go outside, cook up uh, some chicken, and we're gonna come in and make these subs for you. All right, so we have one side on low and the other side's on medium heat, guys. So we can have a temperature controlled climate here. And before I put the, the chicken on the grill, I brushed it down with oil here so that it, it wouldn't, uh, the chicken won't stick to the grill. 
it's very important you do that otherwise you'll have big chunks on the grill here stuck so what I'm going to do now is close the lid we're going to let her cook about two minutes uninterrupted and then we're going to flip her over and uh, we'll see you back then yeah. all right guys so our chicken's halfway there we're going to flip it on over and let it cook the other halfway on the other side She's at about 140 degrees now, Fahrenheit. We need her at about 170. Here we go guys, our chicken's ready to come off the grill. Gorgeous. Look at that, nice, look at that shine on them guys. Look at that. Beautiful. Ripping. Right onto a clean plate. Nice color on those. And we'll bring them back. They're so it. juicy. We're gonna rest them for about seven minutes and then we'll cut into them for our, for our subs. So here we are making our garlic butter and uh, we're basically chopping up this green onion and we're gonna incorporate that into our garlic butter and uh, spin her up one last time. And this is gonna be lathered all over our the inside of our homemade sub sandwich bread. Her, her uh, garlic butter and spin it on up one last time all right friends we got our chicken on our platter here we're gonna start dicing it up and uh, we'll start plating it so here we go we want to cut against the grain and we're gonna go about a quarter inch slices like this The garlic butter is going to be spread. Right, the nice generous helping on the bottom. Homemade chipotle, spicy mayo. Look at that beautiful spread. Put on our chicken.
So here we've completed our uh, mission for today. We made our chicken uh, sub sandwich with homemade sub sandwich bread. Unreal. It's, uh, mm. oh my God, it looks so good and it smells so good. I, and we've been like dreaming this up for the last two weeks. So we're going to take a bite in. Let's do this. I'm excited. I can't wait. Let's go. Cheers. This recipe and all of our other great recipes will be up on the Super Bros website, www.superbroscooking.com. If you haven't head over there already, do so now. Go check it out. We have lots of great recipes on there. Desserts, treats, drinks, you name it, it's there. Tips and tricks, everything's there. Go check it out. <laughs> Hit that like button. Hit the notification bell up in the top corner if you like what you've seen here. I don't really want to play a game But then I do it all again